So, yesterday, President Biden took to the podium to let the world know that the U.S. stands firmly alongside Israel in the wake of the brutal attacks from terrorist group Hamas. They want to call him Old Joe and Sleepy Joe and all of that. I saw experience up Me there. Me too. Yeah. I saw someone that has dealt with <laughs> geopolitics. That yeah, that's why Obama's defense secretary said Joe Biden had been wrong on every single foreign policy issue in the last 40 years. Thank God he's in charge. I feel like Biden can steady the ship mm -hmm. and that should give us some comfort in some way. Yeah, he can steady the ship. No one is steadier than Joe. Yesterday, Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib was asked to condemn the butchering of children. She refused to answer the question. She refused to condemn it. Noxious. Um, and also, there were other members of the squad who said we need to end all aid to Israel at this critical moment. Let's Look, number one, I think uh, this really strikes a contrast between war and the seriousness of what's happening in that region in Israel and the clown show, the sophomoric, infantile high school games being played by our so-called cowardly leaders in Congress. Aha! So the contrast you're pointing out is column A. Thousands of civilians are dying. Column B. Congress is a clown show. Uh, yeah, I think if I had to choose one, I'm going with column B, fatty. Yes. Hamas is going to be the ones culpable for what's going to happen in Gaza. Well, they are holding Gaza hostage. Somebody gave them money and the, weaponry. But it wasn't, it? it wasn't, it wasn't, let me uh, clarify. Uh, that would be Joe Biden and Barack Obama, you dumbass.